bat the line. It's Terry McMillan and Steve Torrance. Let's get to know one of Terry McMillan's crew members who is blazing her own path and following her dreams. Well, my name is Marla Weedner, and I'm from New Lenox, Illinois. I had some friends who used to race at the racetrack, just like the bracket races on the weekends. So they said, why don't you come out and just see what it's about. When I was little, I was a little cheerleader. I was this little girly girl, and don't get me wrong, I'm still a girly girl. <laughs> but um, it just hit me one day that this is awesome. So I took a crazy chance, and I went to Ohio for three years and got my degree in it. Honestly, there was a lot of doubts. <laughs> I mean, you know, being a female and stuff, but I never let that get in the way. Um, I don't ever use that as an excuse that I'm a female and I can't do something. Um, there's just been a lot of people that haven't supported it. I used to hand out my resumes to just about every team I could possibly come across. I gave it to one team who told me the road is nowhere for a girl on a crew and I should probably stay back and machine in the shop and I told them that's not what I want to do and I pretty much walked out of the out of the trailer and on to the next one. I think that the best way to prove to somebody that I can do something is just by doing it. You know, I'm trying to torque down the head out there and it's not extremely easy. When these guys make it look like it's easy and I can't do it the first time, it just makes me want to do it even more. Every step I've taken to get where I am has just been the biggest risk. But it's something that I had to do. I had to pursue my dream and I'm living in my dream at 21 years old. And part of that dream is being a clutch specialist. Steve Torrance had his problem, couldn't get it to back up. He's going on down the track. While on the line, here comes Terry McMillan. But first, I have to make sure Steve Torrance gets all the way off of that racetrack. You see Mara looking on to see if her driver's going to be able to go in there and stage the car. Now, the issue is not getting heat in the engine or the clutch. The issue is burning that amount of fuel and getting that balance off on that top fuel dragster if he uh, sits there at an aisle for too long. So finally, they're going to move Terry McMillan up. He, by the way, is sitting right now right at 10th in the points. And we've said time and time again, we'll be saying it even more. 10th is so critical because that's the cutoff for the rearrangement when you go into the countdown to one. You're on board with Terry. You see crew chief Richard Hartman making the final adjustments there before he sends Terry into the beams. Most time they're just adjusting that aisle. Let's see uh, what happens here with Terry. Now remember, we gotta watch that front end because it could possibly be light with that extra fuel burn. Well, he jumped out of it way early. So that's not gonna change anything for Terry. 